Hi everyone. So you can see one particular bridge behind me. Uh, that is a well foundation bridge uh, that is under construction. I am just looking after that bridge. Uh, you also can see one wooden bridge behind me, right? So let me show you the components of this wooden bridge. Like I used to wonder how this wooden bridge can take so much of load. Then when I analyze and like the, all the components of this bridge, then I got to know that apart from wood, one uh, very important material is used that is steel. So this bridge is not only made up of wood, this is made up of wooden steel. Okay. So let me show you all the components and try to analyze this wooden bridge. Thank you. So let us analyze the components of this wooden bridge. So in a wooden bridge, there are three components. One is a deck, second one is the girder, and third one is the pile, pile or the pyre. So let us see one by one. So first the vehicle will come towards this approach road and the vehicles will move uh, above above this uh, deck, right? As you can you see, can see uh, this, this is the decking, right? These are some wooden members, you can see. These members are made up of uh, right. these are wooden members and this is these members are called the deck, right? The vehicles will move above this decking, right? Now from the deck, the load will move to towards the girder. Now let us see the girder. To see the girder, we have to go to the bottom of this bridge. Bula. Uh, okay, as you can see, uh, this is the bottom part of the bridge, right? Uh, see, this is the decking, right? These are the deck. As you can see, these are the deck. The vehicles will move above the deck. Now, the deck will transfer the load to this girder. You can see, this is the girder, right? This is the girder, right? This is the eye section girder, right? And the girder will uh, transmit the load to the pyre. You can see, these are four pyres. See, one, two, three, four, right? Uh, you can see here, one, two, three, four girder are there. And there are four piles also, one, two, three, four, right? Okay, the, the, the loads will be first transferred to the uh, uh, deck. The deck will transfer load to the girder. And the girder will transfer load to the pile. The pile will transfer load to the soil, right? These piles are made up of what? Wood, right? These piles are made up of wood. Now, now look at this girder, right? Look at the girder. Now, this girder, you can see, this girder is not made up of wood. This cutter is made up of what? Steel. Steel. Why this cutter is made up of steel, not wood? The reason is that, see, this is a what? This is a simply supported beam. You can see this cutter is a beam, right? This cutter is supported on these piles, right? And this is a simply supported beam or girder, right? So, in a simply supported beam, what is happening here? There will be bending moment. So, maximum bending moment will be at the uh, bottom, at the middle, right? And and the maximum bending stress will be also at the bottom part. So here, at the bottom part, there will be bending stress, there will be bending tensile stress. And at the top, at the top, you can see my finger at the top, there will be bending compressive stress. Now you see, wood cannot take a good amount of bending tensile stress, right? Wood is a compressive material, right? but still can take a good amount of bending tensile stress, right? So, if we put wood instead of steel here, the wood will fail in bending tensile stress, but still doesn't fail, right? That is why we have put what? A steel girder. But if you look at the pyre, you can see here, see this pyre, right? This pile or pyre are what? Compression member, right? The loads will first come to the uh, deck, then from the deck, the loads will move to the girder, and from the garden, the loads will move to the pile. There, there are compressive force which are developed over the pyre surface, right? This compressive force will induce compressive stress and that will be transferred to the soil. So, as compressive force are developed at the pile, on the pile, so we don't need to have a steel also because wood can take a good amount of compressive stress. But look at the garden. This garden cannot take a good amount of what? tensile stress sorry sorry this wood this this wood wood cannot take a good amount of tensile stress for that reason only we have to put what steel because at the bottom part you can see here bending tensile stresses will be generated and at the top 
bending compressive stress will be generated so to counter this bending tensile stress we need to have what we need to have steel not wood so what do i need to say is that although this is a wooden brace but this brace is not only made up of wood this is a combination of wood and steel because this is carder right wood cannot take bending tensile stress we need to put steel here thank you very much